Levi Trumbull reporting in Frederick County. We are here with Sean Porter. He has some historic news that he would like to impart upon the viewers. So uh, what is that historic news? So the historic news is that I was partially wrong. Partially wrong? Partially wrong. So, wow. So when I was out at AC&T Tire, um, we had basically an issue where, well, it wasn't AC&T Tire, it was Donald B. Rice Tire. We were protesting Donald B. Rice for their treatment of a protester um, by one of their employees in uniform in a company vehicle on company time, so, so it appears, mm -hmm. uh, just going after one of our guys. And it turns out that um, Donald B. Rice Tire did not own the land I was standing on, and nor was it their like rented property. Um, I had claimed it was public right of way. It had been lent out as open to the public, and anyone's allowed to drive up and down this road. A bunch of businesses there, but a giant corporation, super rich, AC and T, actually owns the road and the property. It's not county maintained, but they had no issue with me being there. So of course, I was allowed to continue to stand there until I got tired of the heat and uh, moved on to uh, other things in the day. So what, what were you wrong about? Well, I was, what was maintaining the statement you made? You made that a statement. it was public right of way okay. and that it was county to owned the, my taxes to paid the for police me. officers. But it was not. It was actually privately owned by another corporation that rented out the building to Donald B. Rice Tire. And in fact, it was not like their, their area and it was lent out as you know, the ability for the public to walk up and down the street, access other businesses. I think there was a hotel there, gas station, a bunch of other stuff. And uh, when contacted, AC&T declined to get involved. They wanted nothing to do with it because there's a guy on the side of a road. They didn't, they didn't care at all. It was just Donald B. Rice Tire that was trying to put the foot down on me talking about Donald B. Rice Tire. So is this an apology? Is it a retraction? It's a partial retraction. Um, you know, Deputy Bankson had said it was private property, and it turns out it was. It just wasn't Donald B. Rice's private property. It was AC&T's private property. And this is something that a lot of work the County Roads guys did mm -hmm. uh, was, was able to determine that after quite some period of time. So the video is already out there, but uh, this is just a correction that it was it was private property I was standing on, but it wasn't Donald B. Rice's right to refuse me from standing on the side of that road. It was lent out as a, uh, a place people could come and go from all these businesses. And the, the business owner that owned that road to all the other businesses uh, declined to have any involvement. They didn't care because they, they basically lent it out to the public to, mm -hmm. to use to access all of their other properties there. Right. Well, it's like a big development, right? It's a yeah, a bunch plaza. of buildings, uh, many different businesses, gas station, truck stop. I think there's a truck wash, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a hotel in the back. I'm not really sure. I don't go back there much, but but yeah. you haven't had any problems. No, like not they at haven't all. Haven't trespassed you from that particular. No, no, they're, and they're not. They're not going to. They're okay. just moving on. Okay. Yeah. They just left, and uh, we determined uh, basically after the cops left that you know it was not Donald B. Rice's tire or Donald B. Rice Tire's property. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't their place to say, and the actual owner of the property had absolutely no interest either way. They're like, we don't, we don't care. Right. So there's no issues there. Good deal. So I was half wrong. Half wrong. All right. Half wrong. Halfway. First time I've heard you retract something. Very interesting. Uh, you know, I you're, try you're not to. You're doing pretty good. You're I try not to good. make statements that aren't accurate, but that right. was halfway wrong. Well, good man. Honest man. Admitting his faults when they appear. Very good. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you, buddy. Absolutely.